Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, I have a treat for you as Frank Michaud, you know, the sovereign citizen that recently got railed by Judge Oakley. Yes or no? Are we doing a preliminary exam today? Yes I or no? I object. I will address- Answer the question. I, I want to address other issues as well. You're in contempt of court, put him in jail. Well, he's back and in front of Judge Lisa Martin where this whole sovereign citizen bukkake began. Now remember, he's facing some pretty serious charges right now, but that's not why he's in jail as he's currently incarcerated for contempt of court. So let's begin. This is 210736FY, State of Michigan versus Frank. Is it Mishu? Michaud, I believe. Michaud, thank you. Your appearances, please. Judge, I'm not sure if we're waiting for the prosecutor, but um, I, on Mr. Michaud's behalf, I would say that I'm not sure if Mr. Michaud wants me to continue to represent him. I think he's expressed previously that he does not want me to continue to represent him. Um, I'm happy to, to be here as some sort of standby counsel, um, but uh, I, I prefer that Mr. Michaud sort of speak to whether I'm representing him or whether he intends to represent himself. Give me one moment so we may get the prosecutor's appearance. Good morning, Your Honor. Mohammed Mohammed on behalf of the people, P86771. Thank you. And Mr. Michaud, your name for the record, sir. I am the beneficiary of the Frank Anthony Michaud Junior Estate, making a special appearance, not general. I appoint you as my trustee for the record. And Mr. Michaud, are you, were you able to hear Mr. Sullivan indicate that he is standing by a shadow counsel? I heard him. Okay. This case is scheduled this morning for PCC. How are we proceeding? I'm here trying to the jurisdiction for the record, ma'am. Judge, the people are prepared to set a preliminary exam in regards to this matter. Mr. Michaud, you're able to raise that at the exam date, the allegations that these events occurred at Detroit Metro Airport, which is located in the city of Romulus. Are you ready to have the exam scheduled, sir? I'm not here to have Michelle? an exam. Um, still trying to wonder why we moving forward with, with even having an exam, especially at the uh, not having by the due process, even having a, a probable cause hearing. Did your time in the concrete motel not teach you anything? Judge Oakley very clearly explained this to you before sending your dumb ass to jail. You're at your probable cause conference. You're not at the point where the probable cause hearing is even necessary yet. That's the purpose of your pretrial conference today. And the state has already clearly stated on the record that there will be no offer for you and they're prepared to take you to trial. The, it's not a problem. It's probable cause conference, sir, at which time the parties will indicate if they're ready to proceed to exam, if there is a plea or a waiver or some other resolution. So at this time, the assisting prosecuting attorney has requested that an exam be set. Are you prepared to have the exam scheduled? No, as me here at China's in a jurisdiction for the record, I want to put on the record that once the jurisdiction is challenged, the court cannot proceed when it clearly appears that the court lacks jurisdiction. The court has no authority to reach matters, but rather should dismiss the action. That's Mello versus U.S. for the record. And sir, what is it that you find? What is your allegation regarding the jurisdiction? Well, what is the jurisdiction that the court is operating up under, ma'am? Sixth Amendment. The court has already. The right, the right Mr. Michaud, the court has already oh. indicated that the allegation is that this event occurred at Detroit Metro Airport, which is located in the city of Romulus. Under Are you indicating that, that this event, that this event that brings us here to court did not occur in the city of Romulus? 
what I, I would like to know what jurisdiction is this court operating up under so that I can properly defend myself and represent myself for the record. So the Sixth Amendment grant me the right to know the nature and causes of these actions. So I would like to know what jurisdiction are you operating up under? Sir, what the file indicates is that there's an offense date of February 23rd, 2021. And again, that the case happened at Detroit Metro Airport, which is located in the city of Romulus. That is a jurisdiction within this court's parameters. So that being the case, would you like to have an exam scheduled? No, I would like to have under what jurisdiction are you uh, proceeding with for, so I can uh, properly defend myself. Given this level of stupidity, it amazes me that he doesn't break his shoulder every time he wipes his ass. Oh, you're being charged with carrying a firearm as a felon in an airport in the city of Romulus. So this court does in fact have jurisdiction over your bad life decisions. I've said it three I've said it three times already, Mr. Michaud. Mm -hmm. If you're mm -hmm. if you have indications or information that mm -hmm. the event mm -hmm. as alleged did not occur in the city of Romulus, I'll hear it at the exam date. That's not a jurisdiction. The jurisdiction has to either be one or two. Is this a common law or admiralty jurisdiction or is for the record? You gave me a location. Mr. Michaud, a jurisdiction. Mr. Michaud, respectfully, what we'll do this morning is either schedule an exam, adjourn the PCC, or waive the exam. One of those three things. Well, the law requires proof of jurisdiction to appear on the record of the administrative agency and all administrative proceedings. That's Hagen's versus Levine. So still, I still would like to know under what jurisdiction so that I can properly defend myself, not the location. I need to know what jurisdiction are, is this court operating up under? Mr. Michelle, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a violation of your oath to office to tell me. Mr. Michelle, for probable cause conference, and I'm sure that you've heard this before, we're doing one of a few things. We are scheduling the exam, we are adjourning the PCC, or we're waiving the exam. How are we proceeding? We can't proceed until jurisdiction is proven on a record so that I can understand, fully have an understanding of what's going on. I still don't understand what is going on without the jurisdiction being proven on the record. Well, you're appearing in court today in custody from the county jail. So every time you speak, you're literally proving their jurisdiction on the record. What don't you understand, sir? I don't understand what jurisdiction are you operating up under. I have the right to know. And you are you denying me my right to know what jurisdiction are you operating up under? Because it is your constitutional oath to let me know what jurisdiction it is that you are operating up under. And you still have not yet. This is the thirty. Right. This is the thirty-fourth district court, Mister Michelle. That's not a jurisdiction. That's that's not a constitutional jurisdiction, ma'am. Is this common law or amity? Is this criminal or civil? It's a criminal case, sir. Okay, if this it's is a, a criminal criminal case where it's alleged that you were a possess a felon in possession of a firearm, and that you carried a concealed weapon. That's count two. And then count three, felony firearm. Those are the allegations. I've given you the three counts in this matter. I've given you the date of the offense and I've given you the location of the offense. We but can do one it. of three things this morning, sir. We can adjourn the PCC, we can schedule the exam, or you may waive the exam, which would you like to do this morning? I want to have my rights given to me and my right is to have the jurisdiction of the court. That's just for the record. I've already indicated to you, sir, what the court is. Is this common law or amity? That's the only jurisdictions that we can, uh, that I know of. You still haven't acknowledged neither one, and I still don't understand what's going on. Until you acknowledge one Ms. or the other, we still haven't got jurisdiction on the record. Mr. Michaud, do you intend to represent yourself in this matter going forward? I would like to know jurisdiction that, so I can properly proceed to defend, present myself properly. I can't properly present myself or defend myself without knowing what jurisdiction that you're operating upon. And you said it was criminal. So if it's criminal and every for a crime to exist, there must be an injured party, a corpus delecti. There could be no sanction imposed or penalty imposed on one because of this constitutional right. So if this is a criminal, where is the injured party? Who have I injured? I have the right to face my accuser, face the one who was bringing these allegations against me, ma'am. 
Mr. Michaud, if you wish to be able to defend yourself and hear witnesses against you, the court is happy to schedule the exam. Is that what you're asking this morning? No, as, as I appointed you as my trustee, I demand that you dismiss these actions for no, for no uh, corpus electi, no, no proper jurisdiction, for no proper crime. Mr. Muhammad, your response to Mr. Michaud's request that this case be dismissed. Judge, the people's position is we would object to dismissing this case on the basis of lack of jurisdiction. As you mentioned earlier, this crime did occur in the county of Wayne, and thus we do have jurisdiction. There is no jurisdiction without an injured party for the record, so I would like to have to face the injured party for the record. And judge, my response is, um, then we should yes, set sir. This, then I believe we should set this for a preliminary exam. I object to that, ma'am. You cannot proceed without jurisdiction being provided on the record. And you being my trustee for the record, ma'am, you have you have to dismiss this case as I demand for the record. Your request to have this matter dismissed is denied. Mr. Michaud, my question will remain the same. Would you wish the court to schedule an exam? Do you wish to waive that exam and have your case bound over the, to Third Circuit Court, Frank Murphy Hall of Justice? Or do you wish to adjourn the PCC? Those are your options this morning, sir. They're going to stay the same. I would like the jurisdiction to be provided for the record and that if not, I demand dismissal for the record. This case will not be dismissed, sir. Would you like the exam scheduled? Would you like to waive the exam or would you like to adjourn the PCC? Again, jurisdiction for the record. You cannot proceed without, when, when once jurisdiction is challenged, again, the court cannot proceed when it clearly appears that the court lacks jurisdiction. The court has no authority to reach matters, but rather should dismiss the action. That is Mello versus U.S. Mr. Michaud, this is the last time that I will say this. I've indicated to you that this court is the 34th District Court that this case is criminal in nature and the allegations that it occurred at Detroit Metro Airport, which is located a city, in the city of Romulus. If there's something you wish to present, you may do so at the exam. You may present your motions at the exam date. So do you want an exam? Would you like the case to be waived? Or would you like to adjourn the PCC to confer with Mr. Sullivan? No, I would like for this case to just be dismissed because the lack of providing a proper jurisdiction was make it seem like there is some secret jurisdiction been held against me without me knowing, and I don't consent to any jurisdiction that you have presented. Oh, that's cute. But the court doesn't need your consent to have jurisdiction over you. Otherwise, anybody could commit any crime at any time. I reserve all my rights for the record. Understood, and that being the case, Mr. Sullivan, is there anything you'd like to add, sir? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm not sure that I um, am, that I still have authority to represent Mr. Michaud. Um, I will say that uh, Mr. Michaud has made his arguments, um, you know, a couple times, and, and I think that the arguments have been or the motions have been denied. Um, and I've explained to him that those motions, his arguments, are preserved on the record, and that he maintains the ability to appeal any denial of his motion to dismiss. Um, he would be able to appeal that first at the circuit court level and then up uh, to the court of appeals. Um, you know, so I've, I've done my best to advise him of his, you know, his rights to continue making that argument. Um, I will also, I, I think the court may are already be aware that uh, Mr. Michaud is not in custody on this case. Um, he's in custody on a, uh, contempt of court that uh, Judge Oakley sentenced him to back uh, at the end of January. Um, so I don't know that there is, you know, unlike clients that are in custody, a, a, a reason to expedite um, the setting of the preliminary exam. So I, I really, you know, I want to defer to Mr. Michaud's um, stated interest, what it is that he wants to do with this case. Um, I've given him advice. And, you know, like, I don't know what I can do beyond that. Again, I don't, I don't want to create any conflict in my representation 
And and Mr. I, Mr. Sullivan, I, the court wasn't the court wasn't asking you to. The court has heard Mr. Michaud's arguments. The record has been made. Your statements have been preserved, Mr. Michaud. And at this time, the court can do one of two things. We can schedule you for an exam next week. We have space available next Wednesday, the 28th. We can adjourn this matter for another PCC next Wednesday morning at 830. Or you may waive your exam. Your response is one of those three things, please, sir. Well, my response, I want to ask you a question. Are you honoring your oath to the Constitution today? Yes, sir. Okay. Upon, and I accept your oath, and upon you honor your oath. Then, Mr. Michaud, no, no, no. I've answered your question. I've now given your options multiple times. The court has other cases. Are we scheduling an exam for next Wednesday? Are you waiving your right to have the exam? Or would you like another PCC next Wednesday morning at 8.30 so you have time to consider your options and how you will proceed in this case? I demand a dismissal for lack of jurisdiction for the record. Well, your request for dismissal is denied. Now, Judge Martin has been more than patient with this moron, and I think it's time that she just moves past him and his unintelligent responses and puts him back in jail so we can think about the consequences of being this stupid. Your request is denied, sir. The record's preserved. If you wish to appeal that decision, you may do so in writing properly filed. Again, exam, waiver, or adjourn PCC. Dismissal for the record. I demand that you dismiss this for not. You cannot move once jurisdiction is challenged. The court cannot proceed for the record, ma'am. And judge, for the record, the people would like to request a preliminary exam. Um, there will be no plea offer. We did already have a probable cause conference in this case. So we are prepared to move forward, Judge, just for the record. Marianne, is there space next Wednesday afternoon? Yes, Judge, at 2.30. Are you, Jack? Court cannot proceed without jurisdiction for the record. Jurisdiction has not been provided for the record so that Mr. I may- Mr. Michaud, the court, has, the court has responded and provided the appropriate information to you the what exam the will be jurisdiction? scheduled for next Wednesday, February 28, 2024, 2.30 p.m. in person here in courtroom number one. If there is a motion that you want the court to consider, the court will take it up as a preliminary part of the exam. Anything else, Mr. Mohammed? Nothing from the people, Judge. Thank you. Anything else, Mr. Michaud? I demand for a dismissal for the record. Or cannot proceed without jurisdiction being provided for the record, and yet you still your, continue. Your your oral, given. sir, your oral motion having been having been heard, and denied. Anything else? Why are you denying to put the jurisdiction on the record? Why? Just I just want to know why. why I've, are you I've done that, Mr. Mr. Michaud. I've done that. I've asked you multiple times how you would like to proceed with this conference. You refuse to answer the court's question regarding how we're proceeding. Defense, I'm sorry, but the prosecution has requested an exam. The court has scheduled an exam. If there are things that you wish to take up preliminary next Wednesday, we will take it up no, before the no, exam I'm starts. Not, I'm not prepared, do not wish to have a, a preliminary without me knowing how to defend myself under which jurisdiction. So it's still doing, it's still a, due, right, a violation of my rights, my due process. You're, you're moving forward without telling me which jurisdiction so that I can properly defend myself and represent I've, is two civil and criminal procedures have different jurisdictions and I don't I need to know which one are you operating up under now. How could you, you do forward? Mr. Michaud the courts the courts I, answered the question multiple times and the court deems this matter concluded. I will see you next Wednesday afternoon. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. It looks like the next time we'll be seeing him is for his in-person probable cause hearing on Wednesday. You know, the hearing that he continuously says that he's being unconstitutionally denied? He's an idiot. So if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike. But don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my content. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out.